johnsonbodypiercing.com. I'm going to talk about sterilization techniques for your safety. Each of our autoclaves at Outer Limits in Long Beach is tested monthly by confirmed monitoring systems to make sure they work properly. When you come into the studio, I may offer you an indicator strip that looks like this. This is a heat sensitive strip here that has a yellow line on it and when this becomes hot enough to be sterilized, it'll go from yellow to brown. I'll have you put your name on the back side of this. Then I'll run it through the sterilizer with all the tools and jewelry we'll use for your new piercing today. Once I set up for you, we'll be able to see and make sure that everything got sterilized properly. This sterilizer here that we're using is called the Statum 2000. It's a very fast acting autoclave and will run its cycle in about six minutes. So let's see how this works. I'll take the indicator with my name on it. I'll place it inside the little cassette here. In just a few minutes, we'll see if it worked. So let's head into the decontamination room and let me show you what's back there. This side of the room is our contaminated side. This is where the ultrasonic and the scrubbing sink are. This is where most of the tools that we reuse get cleaned before being sterilized for reuse. This is my Midmark M7. This is also a fast acting autoclave. This is where all the bulk items get used after being decontaminated. That makes them safe to run in the static back up front. Once tools and other implements come from the sterilization room in the back, they either get bagged and re autoclaved for storage, or they get stored loose before being ran into the statin that we looked at first. So once we open up the cartridge, we can take a look at the strip, and we can see that it's now gone from yellow to brown, and it has my name on it. Well, that's it for my sterilization video. If you have any questions, make sure you ask. johnsonbodypiercing.com